ask Reddit health inspectors of Reddit, what's the worst violation you've ever seen? Not a health inspector but assistant manager at a restaurant for a year between university. I once saw my sous chef flick a fillet steak out of the pan, kick it back up with his foot and land it back in the pan to continue cooking. He did this three stroke four times. I was watching on the CCTV trying not to laugh every time he celebrated each catch. My favorite Chinese restaurant got shut down. My ex-wife worked for the city and I asked her what was the deal. She said the health inspectors found some being leaking from the selling. They lifted the ceiling tile and shined a flashlight and saw multiple eyes staring back at them. It was chickens. They were raising chickens and the selling and chicken shit was dripping in the food that I had been eating at least once a week. My dad did pest control. I went to hang out with him one night and he took me to a Chinese food restaurant. When we were done eating, he was lingering over his tea and I was like, Hey dad, looks like they're closing up soon. I think we're keeping the folks from getting done. He's cool and calm. It'll be fine. So we sit. He pays the bill. And we wait. Finally, they are shutting off lights out front and I am losing. My. Mind. I'm horrified. Embarrassed. And I'm thinking these poor people. Finally. Finally. Dad stands up and says. Be right back. He comes back in. With his gear. He proceeds to treat the place for their rat problem. And the roaches he gets me to help him carry and move stuff so he can do his job. And doesn't see any problem with this. TL. DR. Pest control dad treats a restaurant for nasties right after we eat there. Finally something I can comment on. My uncle is a health inspector in rural Australia. He got several complaints about a fish and chips shop in a small town in Victoria. With reports of it being a bit grotty and people getting chunks of hair in their hot chips. So he rocks up one day unannounced on a blazing hot day in the middle of summer. And the owner grates him and shows him around wearing a white singlet top with sweat patches under the arms. Short shorts and no shoes. This guy's body was covered in hair. Not just on his arms and chest. But his back and neck were like a werewolf. Clearly, this must be the source of the hair in the chips. My uncle decides to make a tactful comment about having wear appropriate clothes when working. So as to protect against hot oil burns. After seeing the property and giving a few basic suggestions, the only other thing he notices that needs immediate attention is the deep fryer itself. The oil is old and filthy, and likely full of this guy's hair, so he orders the bloke to drain it out right then and there. The owner does so, and at the bottom of the oil that is a dead, deep fried and crispy, cat. Totally unfazed, the owner simply said oh, that's where my cat went. Turns out a few months previously the shop was having a rodent problem, so the owner bought in a cat to catch them. He thought the cat escaped overnight and ran away. Nope. Looks like little Fluffy drowned in the deep frying oil, and Mr. Chippy has been frying him up over and over and over again ever since. The clumps of hair locals were complaining about weren't from the half man half wolf owner, but the fur and flesh of a dead cat. My friend was inspecting a restaurant, walked out the back to find a man stirring a huge pot of curry, with his arm, no spoon or anything, just up to his hairy elbows in curry. My stepmother is the lead health inspector for a decent sized suburban town. While I have never asked what the worst thing she has witnessed as part of her job was, I do know of one instance that was pretty gross. A truck full of lobsters was traveling down the highway and crashed. The police came, and eventually they towed the truck. As a board of health inspector my stepmother was consulted to see if any of the lobsters were viable and she told them no. The load is a total loss since there were literally lobsters scattered across the highway covered in dirt, sand, etc. Fast forward 24 hours and one of the restaurants in town ran a special. Twin lobsters for $19.99. Apparently the owner of the trucking towing company knew the restaurant owner pretty well so they made a deal whereby the restaurant would pay a very discounted price for the road lobsters. The restaurant would turn around and illegally serve the lobsters to unsuspecting customers or sell them out of a truck behind behind the restaurant. I'm not sure what the repercussions were but I think they were shut down for like a week. They closed shortly thereafter and now there's a new restaurant there. The towing company lost their contract to tow vehicles semi-trucks with the town and state. 
not a health inspector, but worked in a restaurant where the managers were good friends with one. The coffee ice cream shop next door was shut down out of nowhere and we were all shocked because they were pretty busy. Health inspector came in one day and manager asked why it was shut down. Health inspector proceeded to tell my manager that he walked in unannounced early one morning before the shop opened, only to find the owner jerking off behind the counter by the ice cream. When I went to culinary school one of professors made the statement if you want to know how clean a restaurant's kitchen is go to bathroom first before you are seated. If the bathroom is dirty there is a good chance the kitchen is in the same condition. Not a health inspector, but someone in my city repainted their floor with non-slip paint and literally painted over a dead rat, sealing it in there, and to top it off, it was in the middle of the kitchen, not under a bench or anything similar. The dumpster needed to be moved 6 inches from the back exit of the bar, otherwise everything I inspected was up to standard. Bartender seemed sweaty all the time, bathroom stalls could have used a little touch up, didn't get to spend much time in the basement, I became quite busy, for some reason. They were given a passing grade. My dad was one, is now retired, of everything I ever heard, to jump out. He noted the trays at a Chinese restaurant weren't clean or warm. When he asked the employees, they acknowledged the heating element had failed, but that there was still chemical backup. Somehow, though, it wasn't hitting the dishes. Then he saw a cockroach crawl out of the washer, attempting to understand how the dishes were not getting rinsed. He found that it was backed up with cockroaches. They were cleaning the trays. They closed for remodeling for three days. But it was really cleaning up in order to pass inspection before they were allowed to open again. At a similar restaurant, he asked about a pail on the floor filled with a green substance. Soup of the day, they told him. Dad asked what it was, and was told it was scraps. The bucket was never emptied, it turned out. The scraps going in roughly equaled the soup going out. Which meant that there was stuff in there that had been there for weeks at room temp, on the floor. Dad had them dump it as he looked on. A bonus story was when he caught a guy smoking in a kitchen, and exposed the cigarette behind his back with a handshake. Mentioned this one somewhere before on Reddit. Used to have a job working as an inspector for storage tanks at places like dairies and factories. Went to a cheesecake factory once to test a milk storage tank. It had just been cleaned and was being prepped to be filled with a tanker full of milk. I noticed the floor of the tank was covered in bleach. It turned out, the floor manager couldn't be asked to spend the time sucking out the rest of the cleaning fluid used in the cleaning process and, as standard, just filled the tank with milk on top of a dozen gallons of bleach. His theory was, that there was enough milk to dilute the bleach to acceptable consumption levels. I wrote a report and he was promptly fired. Not a health inspector. But a Chinese buffet near me was closed down because it got a 0 stroke 5 in its inspection. I got food poisoning from there once. The staff just got up and left. Locked the door. Never went back. All the food was still out and everything. A week later a man was walking his dog past said Chinese buffet and heard a loud buzzing noise. Looked through the window to see hundreds of thousands of flies that had taken over the building as their new home. Was so bad that Pizza Hut next door had to close too. Not health inspector, but I worked as an assistant cook at a restaurant. Two weeks into the job, I opened a cupboard to get a can of tomato sauce and I see a huge ass tarantula scuttling away behind the cans. I told the boss what I had seen, so that maybe we should get someone to deal with the huge ass spider living in the kitchen. Boss turns to me and say I see you've met Eduardo. Just don't put your hand too close to him and you'll be good. Later another cook proceeded to explain to me the spider been living there for two years and they allowed it because he kept rodents and roaches away. This is a true story. So know this reddit. Every time that you think about swatting a spider, remember that there is a possibility that a friendly spider is guarding your favorite restaurant's food against nasty critters. Former inspector here. I once discovered a rat infestation in the kitchen of a hospital. They asked me if I could prove my suspicions. I pointed out the numerous foodstuffs with 1 minus 2 inches circular holes chewed in them. But they didn't seem convinced. I showed them the trail of droppings and footprints coming and going from a hole in the floor drain. But they didn't seem convinced. 
I showed them the three dead rats I had discovered under and around equipment. I think they began to believe me at that point. Citations included rat infestation and absolutely deplorable cleaning practices. Not a health inspector but assistant manager at a restaurant for a year between university. I once saw my sous chef flick a fillet steak out of the pan, kick it back up with his foot and land it back in the pan to continue cooking. He did this three stroke four times. I was watching on the CCTV trying not to laugh every time he celebrated each catch. My stepdad used to be a baker in an authentic recreation of an 18th century new French fortress. Because they sell bread to the public, the health inspector came by, and she was ripping into my stepdad for violations like the stonework walls, the dollar's entranceways, or the lack of a mosquito zapper. He pointed out that they were following the highest standards except for things that would destroy the authenticity of this 18th century bakery. The health inspector relented and agreed to give him a pass after verifying the food storage area was secure. They went to the shed, which was a doorless building attached to the bakery. As the health inspector went in, they happened to be an escaped cow licking all of the loaves. My stepdad could only say, honestly, this never happens. They passed the health inspection. TL. DR. Health inspector witnesses escaped farm animal licking all the bread in a bakery. Passes health inspection anyway. <laughs>